John Murdy, creative director of Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to this exclusive sneak peek of Halloween Horror Nights 2009. Halloween Horror Nights is our annual event where once a year we transform Universal Studios Hollywood into a living horror movie. So what's new for Halloween Horror Nights 2009? Everything. We have all new mazes, all new shows, all new scare zones, and all new Terror Tram experience. And what movies are we talking about? Some of the greatest horror movie franchises of all time. Saw, Halloween, My Bloody Valentine, and Chucky. It's going to blow your mind. Let's start with the mazes. Jigsaw has come to Universal Studios Hollywood and he's taking over the place. We're talking about scare zones. We're talking about a brand new maze called Saw Game Over. You're going to enter Jigsaw's lair and experience all of the famous traps from the Saw franchise. And out on the Terror Tram, you're going to run into Billy. And Billy's got a little test for you, inspired by some of the most famous horror movies ever made. The challenge is, will you make it to the other side? We have Chucky's Funhouse. It's as if Chucky has taken over an old Carney Funhouse and he's turning everybody into living dolls. <laughs> Halloween, one of the greatest horror movie franchises of all time. What we're going to do with Halloween is we're going to take you into the Myers house. We're going to take you into all those famous scenes that fans of horror movies love, except the difference is you're not watching a movie. You're not sitting back in your seat. It's not a passive experience. We're taking you right into the middle of the action. Michael Myers is coming for you. It's unlike anything you can see anywhere in the world. Also new for Halloween Horror Nights 2009 is My Bloody Valentine, Be Mine Forever. This is a brand new maze where we're going to take you into the mine shafts in the town of Harmony where Harry Warden and his pickaxe are waiting for you. we create a haunted attraction like Saw Game Over? Well, it starts with this. It starts with the movies. We have to become absolutely literate on every single film in the franchise, watching them over and over and over again. And then from there, we have to work with the filmmakers and explain to them what we want to create, get their ideas, and from there, we turn it into something like this. Basically, a series of post-it notes. What do these post-it notes tell us? They tell us the traps that we're going to experience. They tell us a little bit about the environment you're going to be walking through, the characters you're going to see, and the special effects we're going to use. Because here at Universal Studios Hollywood, we don't want to create passive experiences. We want the horror to reach out and grab you. We want you to be physically affected and psychologically affected. And we use every trick that a Hollywood movie would use. Now, of course, we have to design all these amazing haunted attractions. And standing next to me is Chris Williams. He is our lead art director for Halloween Horror Nights. He's the man who designs all the amazing mazes that you get to experience. And right here in front of us is Saw Game Over. Of course, one of the most famous traps, if not the most famous trap in the entire Saw franchise, is what they call the reverse okay. bear trap. And of course, we want to bring that to life for our guests in Halloween Horror Nights. When Amanda has the bear trap on her head, she has that horrible test where she has to take a knife, carve into this guy's stomach, and find the key that's hidden somewhere in his chest cavity. So Chris and I talked and decided, let's do it. <laughs> Amanda's carving into him and pulling out his intestines and his yeah. guts. and She's only got 60 seconds to find that key. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's got to go to work. Coming through, you're going to be focused on her just ripping into his guts and pulling everything out. And then we have another scare behind. So it's another good misdirection gag. And that's all about the psychology of how you scare people. There's all kinds of different ways of scaring people. One of the best ways to scare people is what Chris is referring to. It's called a misdirection gag. Distract him with something directly in front of him, but hit him from behind. Ah! 